Yeah, Shifty, a lot of people have questions about Bijan's usage yesterday for whatever reason. He just kind of yeah. wasn't playing, and then he had some some comments after uh, the game that I think we had that still kind of leave a lot of questions lingering. Head was hurting, and, you know, I was just trying to like, see how I was going to feel on the field, and, I mean, I was just going down. So, talked to Will Smith, and, you know, he was like, I, I don't want to – we don't want to risk anything. Um, you know, we have Tyler and CP, and, and they did really well today. Those are my, those are my brothers. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was really tough uh, this morning. Uh, but hey, God is good for getting us this win. Though. It was more, it was more. Okay, so that's what he's saying, Ty. Yeah. So Shefty, like, did he get hurt during the game? Was this something leading up uh, to like when kickoff happened, and how was he able to actually speak with reporters post game? Because usually, you know, typically if guys are hurt, I don't think they're required to speak with the media, right? So what what's going on with Bijan? Well, I can tell you, everybody was freaking out about it during the course of the game because I'm getting texts from all sorts of people that have him on their fancy. What's going on with Bijan? You know, he didn't get into the game until there were two minutes left in the first quarter. Arthur Smith told Christina Pink at halftime he wasn't feeling well. That's what he said. And I think when you have somebody like Bijan, he's not getting in there. I'm going to take Arthur Smith at his word that he just wasn't feeling well. Yeah, I was texting with somebody with the Falcons during the course of the game because so many people were flipping out about the whole thing. And I just feel like what it sounds like is he wasn't physically feeling well enough to be out there. And so they have all these other weapons. So they were leaning on Tyler Algier and Corderell Patterson and the other backs that they have just wasn't feeling right. And I would imagine once he's feeling better this week, which I would expect, we will be back to seeing Bijan. But, you know, that's the thing with Arthur Smith. He always has so many guys. If you look back at his offenses, there are always a multitude of players who are scoring touchdowns. He, his guys, there are more players scoring from his team than anybody else. He spreads it around. He doesn't care who you have on your fantasy team. He doesn't care that Bijan Robinson's your starting running back. He doesn't care about your prop bet for Bijan Robinson going over certain. He cares about making sure that everybody's producing here, no. that the offense is performing to its maximum. Oh, really? And he didn't feel like yesterday that Bijan was up to it. Hey, did you tell Field Yates that, yeah, Arthur Smith is trying to win games too, you know, because it's not fantasy <laughs> football, it's real life football yeah. for him, and he could potentially get fired. We know he probably. Backup plan. Yeah, we yeah. very much understand that, but I think yeah, the the amount of people just being like, "Oh, Arthur Smith just doesn't like Bijan Robinson." It was uh, no, that was a wild theory. But for me, the interview afterwards, and I'm not somebody who suffers from migraines. Thank God, by the way, Ooh. that that sounds yep. like the absolute worst. But I think he alluded to like headaches, and he wasn't feeling good. And then after the game, there's a lot of lights, and he's talking. And in there, he's talking. Do they did it settle during the game? Is that what happened? Did they find a good treatment? Or you know, I I don't know. You know, listen, uh, I get migraines, so they have medicines that they can give you. And I'm sure by that point, if he weren't feeling better, he wouldn't be in a locker room that's well lit with reporters around talking to them, mm. right? So whether he took Nurtec or, or Ubrelvi or whatever it is, oh. right? I know my migraine medicines here, Pat, okay. uh, having been through them. And and I always remember, you know, the first team that I ever covered was Terrell Davis, the Broncos, and Ooh. he used to get migraines. And I remember he was in the Super Bowl, and there's the great sound clip, the sound bite of all time, where he comes to the sideline, he's just to Mike Shanahan, you know, I, I can't see. And he goes, don't worry. You don't have to see on this play. Just run into the line of scrimmage. That's all you have to do. And he ran into the line of scrimmage and only bootlegged around for a touchdown. And they scored and they won the Super Bowl. And But I know that migraines can be very debilitating. I've seen that with players. I've experienced it myself. If he had a migraine yesterday, then Arthur Smith was obviously doing the smart, wise, careful, considerate thing by not playing him, despite the fact that it caused a meltdown among all the people at Rostrum and fancy football. Yeah, Percy Harvin, too, you think back to yeah, what yeah. could have been with what migraines did to him. I'm very thankful that my brain did not choose to have that something that happens to him. And if that's what Bijan's going through or going to continue to go through, hey, God bless you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Godspeed. That is no fun at all. Hopefully, Nurtech, what'd you say? Nurtech and who? Nurtech, Ubrelvi. Yeah, you want to get me out for a spokesman for one of these things? I'm happy to do that. Uh, we're, a yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we're a big farmer show. Yeah, we're a big farmer show.